Lagos State is definitely on our list of good guys this week. First, we shared a report earlier this week that the state had extended maternity leave for mothers and had included fathers as well in its parental leave policy. And now this new report that the state will now provide loans for graduates from technical colleges who want to open businesses in the state. Lagos State Deputy Governor Adejo Ke Orelokwe Adefulire added that the forms would be channeled through the Lagos State Microfinance Institution and given out without collateral. The state believes that this will encourage entrepreneurship and also boost confidence in technical and vocational education. Well done, Lagos State. Keep up the good work. While athletes are running, lifting, jumping and throwing at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Durban is already looking ahead with a slick presentation to the Commonwealth Games Federation as part of their bid to host the Games in 2022. The delegation was made up of Sports Minister Fikile Mbalula, President and the Chief Executive South African Sports Confederation and Olympic Committee Gideon Sam and Toby Reddy and the Head of Sports for the City of Durban Vuzi Mazibuko. The team referenced their record in hosting the Football, Rugby and Cricket World Cups and also highlighted the fact that Africa is yet to stage the Commonwealth Games. Times Live SA shares the words of Gideon Sam, he says, We're bold enough to say that South Africa can host any event. We've shown that to the United Nations and the International Olympic Committee. We can say it's Africa's turn. Durban will have to wait a little longer before they know if they will be adding this tournament to their tournament hosting profile as the vote on the 2022 Commonwealth Games Bid City will be conducted in Auckland on September 2nd next year. Still talking Sports Times Live SA indicates that preparations are already being made for the Soweto Marathon in November, with some of South Africa's top road runners confirming their presence and promising the run of a lifetime. The Soweto Marathon is an annual event, but it was cancelled last year when stakeholders, the Soweto Marathon Trust, Central Gauteng Athletics and Athletic South Africa, who were locked in a fight for the rights to host the event, failed to secure a sponsor. This year though, Nike will be sponsoring the event and it has been relaunched. The event has been dominated by foreign athletes in recent years, but former Comrades winner Ludwig Mamabolo has promised that this year, South African players will show what they're made of. The world celebrated Nelson Mandela's birthday on the 18th of July 2014 and one of the activities planned around that date was an auction of some items signed by the former president of South Africa. About 202 lots were put up for sale and about 60% were sold off, raising £160,000 which was less than was anticipated. The lots included a chess set of figures, with figures of Nelson Mandela, his former wife Winnie Madikizela Mandela, and F.W. de Klerk. Other items included salt and paper shakers of Mr. Mandela and Mr. de Klerk, statues, photographs, refrigerator magnets, ostrich eggs, medals, books, and much more. Some of the funds raised at the auction will go to the Foundation for Rural Development, run by Mr. Mandela's granddaughter, Ndileka Mandela. of nominees for the Future Africa Awards and Summit has officially been unveiled. The task was carried out by the Central Working Committee for the awards and has five nominees in each of its ten categories. In the first, the nominees this year have been drawn from across the continent. Judging will be done by jury which will include the Board of Judges and the Independent Audit Committee. And speaking of the jury, we can expect to see such distinguished personalities as Katia Sheila Nwator, Leadership Development and CSR Manager for the Tony Lumelu Foundation, Mahamad Usai, Founder and Executive Director of the Institut Supérieur de Développement Local of Senegal. We can also expect to see Wendy Luhabe, who is the founder of the Women's Private Equity Fund, Tonye Cole, who is the Executive Director of the Sahara Group, Ndidi Mwuneli, who is the founder of Leap Africa, Mo Abudu, who is the CEO of Ebony Life TV, and Jenna Scott, Director, Liberia Philanthropy Secretariat for the Office of the President.